The name Will Steger now stands listed among the great explorers of the world. The National Geographic Society ranks Steger with aviation's Amelia Earhart, polar explorations Robert Perry and Roald Amundsen, and the ocean's Jacques Cousteau, and has named him its first explorer in residence. Discovery began early for Will. At the age of 15, he took a motorboat from Minneapolis, Minnesota, down the Mississippi River to New Orleans. A quarter of a century later, after putting up numerous first descents of mountains around the world, Will turned his attention to his first love, the frozen polar ice. He led the first confirmed journey to the North Pole by dog sled, without resupply. Three years later, he led the first dog sled traverse of the continent of Antarctica. The International Trans-Antarctica Expedition was a torturous 3,471 miles in seven months. Five years after that, Will led the International Arctic Project, a 1,200-mile first-ever crossing of the Arctic Ocean from Russia to Ellesmere Island in Canada. In 2004, he led a six-member team on the Arctic Transect, a 3,000-mile, seven-month educational expedition of Nunavut, Canada. And Will continued his educational effort with his Global Warming 101 expedition in Baffin Island above the Arctic Circle. His team included three Inuit members, Sir Richard Branson, and six-time Everest summiter Ed Vesters. As Will Steger matured, the dreams of being the first to summit or the first to raise a flag on a piece of terra incognita became less important. As Will saw more, listened to the stories of remote, nearly forgotten people, he was seized with an urgent calling to tell their stories. Global warming in this region is really being played out on the sea ice. As the heat from the greenhouse effect is being absorbed. About 80% of that energy is absorbed into the oceans. Oceans are warming, of course, and we're getting a later freeze-up each year. My name is uh, Theo Ikumak. If I look at the youth that we have today, the, their future is quite bleak with, the, with their association with the environment as it is right now. Looking at our 10-year-olds, if they get to be my age, is the ice going to be there? Maybe not. Are the glaciers going to be here? Maybe not. Their way of life will be so different in that Inuit culture will have to be rewritten down the road. I do think that part of our mission and the foundation, of course, would be uh, to make sure that the policies are adhered to through education and involvement. It's, it all has to do with social engagement. Uh, if, if we're more socially engaged, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Because the time is crucial, absolutely crucial. We, we can't even wait anymore. We're way behind schedule. We used to say we had 10 years. We don't have 10 years anymore. We've got to move right now. <laughs>